you know most houses today have bad foundation we have to be honest yes is it that you enter the house and get sick and die or your children start getting sick and die and start spending money anyhow guys if you're a woman and you're looking for a house in Abia state you do like this because they are going to ask you to go and bring their all the male ancestors in your generation to go and bring all of them before they approve of your house yes keep watching if you're just tuning in you're just seeing this face you're welcome don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and to turn on the notification bell beside it yeah so in today's video i'm going to be talking about house hunting as a woman in aba abia state nigeria i really don't know about other states in nigeria but i'm going to be talking about aba abia state because i've looked for house a couple of times here in aba so i can only tell you about aba so just sit down and relax and continue watching this video so a couple of times that i've looked for house I've actually been asked to, you know, get a man. They've told me a couple of times that they don't give women houses. Yes, like, sorry, you don't always go and call your husband. We don't give women women house. So, and I'm like, does it mean that women who are not married, like young girls, can't find a house, pay for the house comfortably, and take care of themselves? What do they mean? Does it mean that every woman should now live in a bush? Is that what they're saying? So actually I'm not that small. I you know I'm not small that I can say maybe because of my stature they think I'm a child or something. So this happened few times when I went to look for a house. The first time, first of all, procedures of looking for a house, you're going to meet an agent. That is if you've not already seen maybe you have a friend that is living in a house and that friend wants to move out and you're like, please, you know, you know, put me in. You know, connect me to the landlord so that I can, you know, get a house. So, apart from that, the next way or the other option is to go and register with a housing agent. Mm -hmm. So, when you register with them, you in Aba here, you register with two thousand from two thousand to three thousand naira is the registration range, depending on the type of house you're looking for. So, if you register with them. They will be the ones to look for a house. They are the ones that are going to connect other agents, and then you're going to tell them the area you're looking for a house. Yes. So they will now contact probably agents that are close there or agents, you know, because they link up somehow. So it is now left for them to go find these houses for you with the description you've already given. So when they look for this house and then find the ones they think it meets your description, they are going to call you and say, come and check out this house, madam. And so when you go there, you are going to transport yourself and the agent to that place. Yes, bear that in mind. You're going to transport yourself and that agent to the, power, to the place where the house is located. So when you get there, you now look, look at the house. If, per venture, I'm saying if, because it happens rarely. On the first couple of houses that you're going to be shown you love one then you can pay for it and continue you know but most times from experience I don't usually like the first few houses that I'm being shown I don't like them so it's not it's not it's not about me it's because of the house so the houses they usually show on the first time is usually nonsense you know just to collect their money and their commission and go so but it's when you now have problem with them i know shout say, what is it what kind of nonsense is that you're showing me that's the time they're going to find good house for you <laughs> and please bear in mind that you know most houses today have bad foundation we have to be honest yes is it that you enter the house and get sick and die or your children start getting sick and die and start spending money anyhow or you'll be working you'll not be seeing your money so those audience they don't even care what they know is show you house if you like if you like the house, you pay for the house. If you don't like the house, you forget. So it is you, after showing you the house, that's going to do your background check. Like, go and ask, make inquiries, ask people around, say, this house, is it a good house? You know? And you pray about it. It's, if God's winning is a good house, then you jump to the next procedure. So the next procedure is usually meeting the landlord to see the house. Because most times, the agent will come and show you, say, look at this building, it is this building. The first floor, there's people are not living there. 
But you cannot enter and see the house unless you know go and get the keys to the house. So you get. So you will now go and meet the landlord for the keys with the agent, of course. So after getting the keys, then you go and look at the house. If you love the house, then you start, you know, negotiations. More, some other people do like this when you see the building you now go and meet the landlord the landlord now ask you questions you know negotiate before showing you the house so me personally i love seeing the house first before negotiation because we feel negotiate finish i will now see the house and i don't like the house it will be time wasted and everything but you know everyone have their own procedures so if you see the house first and then negotiate is okay but sometimes though you negotiate with the agent first and uh, with the landlord first before seeing the house so whichever way you now enter into the negotiation part. The negotiation part is usually like question, like interview to get to know you, for the landlord to know who you are and all that. So the landlord is going to ask you questions like, what do you do? Where are you from? What church do you attend? You know, questions. So if some people that are so annoying that wants to ask deep, that want to enter deep, they kind of ask me, how many children do you have? Because I don't want somebody that has 10 children to come and fill the soccer away. <laughs> so... Some people, so they'll ask questions. So most times, because of my husband's work and where he's working, he usually doesn't have time to go for house hunting. It is, it has always been me that is always looking for our houses where we live. So it has always been me going. So questions that I usually find very annoying and you know is when they ask me, "Where is your husband?" We don't give women houses. It's men that we give houses, and I'm like what excuse me does it mean that women can no longer find house pay for the house take care of themselves and take care of their bills is that what they're trying to tell me so most some of them who are actually probably lenient you know will say we've had bad experiences with single women or single ladies so we don't really want to go into that again whereas some will just tell you bluntly i do not want a woman to live in my house i only want men <laughs> there's only men that can pay bills <laughs> Anyways, so they're going to ask you questions like that. So the ones they asked me, the very annoying was the one that I said, they asked me about my husband. After that, they said, no, they don't give women houses. Few places. The other place that I went to, they said that, no, they only give bankers. <laughs> that they only give bankers their houses. And I'm like, so because I'm not a banker, so I can't live in your house. I said, sorry. The other place that I went, they said they only give lawyers. And I was kind of wondering, please, where do they give marketers <laughs> or YouTubers, you know? <laughs> I'm sure YouTubers house is going to be. <laughs> anyway, so, but there's this particular place that I went that was very, very annoying for me. Was that when I got there, the man was very okay with the husband. He was very okay. He, was, he didn't ask too much questions, but when he called his wife now you know all these men that does everything with their wife you know i admire such men they are very good so they involve their women their wives in everything that they do so he called his wife only for his wife to come and spoil show for me the wife came and like what do you do for a living what does your husband do where do you where 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 the place you are coming from why are you living that place you know stupid questions like how old are you what church do you have? how many children do you have so and so much more that i can't even remember here now that was so very alarming and annoying so after asking all these questions and she felt that my answers were didn't meet her expectations she was like you have to go and call your husband we don't give house to women go and call your husband i'm like my husband can't come he's working and the type of work he has, the only time he he, he, he do, he, the only time he has chance is when he's on leave. And he just finished his leave, so he cannot come. They said no, <clears throat> that I should, I must bring a man. And I was like, <clears throat> okay, please, man. Can I at least see the house? If I see the house and I like the house, then if you want me to bring the all the male ancestors in my generation, I'll go and bring them. But just let me see the house. She refused. It's only if not her husband intervened. I said, okay, no problem. Just go and see the house. And they gave us the keys. And I went to see the house. Only to find out that the house that I've been asking all the, that I've been asking all these stupid questions for is just nonsense. I don't even like the house. It's a very dirty, unorganized house. So 
how come they're even asking me such questions for this kind of house? So I was like, okay, no problem, I'll go and get my husband. And I left. They didn't see me again. So I was told there was a very, there was three story building that is close to the house. And I was told that there are houses that were vacant there. So we went there. This woman is she's my lady now, currently. So her husband is the first person we met, and then her husband is a good man too. He interviewed us and then gave us keys to go check the house and then we checked the house and when we came back we met his wife and I said that she doesn't have problem whether I'm a woman or a man as long as we take care of bills. The bills don't actually come much anyway, especially except Nepal bills and some other bills too. But you know that I will, I will just do whatever others are doing. And that was it. We paid for the house and we moved. So it was just simple with the last person, but it's really it's very rare most times. It's only with educated women who knows that women can actually take care of themselves. So some of these local market women that were able to build houses, you know, they think that everything everybody's like them, you know, market women. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section you know tell me how your housing experience how haunting has been in the comment section i am going to reply you can equally follow me on my instagram handle for you know communications i love i love rapport and i love communications so you can don't forget to subscribe to please don't forget to subscribe that's the coco of the coco so if you really want me to start getting more one nine from this channel please subscribe and view and share yes mm -hmm. bye